Hey YouTubers, welcome to my channel. This is Phoenix251080. I'm here to show you some of the recent steelbooks that I received and do a quick overview and a review of them. So first of all, I have the Ninja Assassin steelbook. Superman Returns. and American History X. So I'll be back in a second and I'll see you then. Welcome back guys this is the Ninja Assassin Steelbook as you can see it comes with a slip cover this is a German edition It's got a matte finish. The thing about I love, I love about the matte finishes, that uh, you know it doesn't take any fingerprint marks, so you can hold it without worrying about it. Sometimes with the glossy ones, you hold it and it leaves the work, leaves fingerprint marks on there. This is an awesome steel book. Looks great. Show you the spine. You got the Blu-ray symbol there, Ninja Assassin, and the Warner Brothers. Now the thing about the back, <laughs> it's the same. So as you can see, if I turn it around, I've got the back. This is the front. Clean no symbols, no ratings turn it around so you can see Ninja Assassin turn it around, it's upside down and it's the same picture I mean they've got some good sequences in this film I'm sure they could have picked out some nice artwork and made the back different I don't know why they did this um, but it's not very good uh, the rating sticker on the back here is stuck on so if I were to display the steelbook it will never be this side of it because there are ratings on there and it's the same anyway let's put the back again okay so let's take a look inside It's a single disc edition. As you can see, take the Blu ray disc out. That's a nice bit of artwork on the CD. And that's the artwork inside. I love this artwork, it's one of the best artworks I've seen in a still book. And you've got the assassin there with his samurai sword and blood dripping all the way down from it. That looks awesome. The film overall is a decent film, it's worth watching. Um, it's got a lot of action sequences. Uh, it hasn't got the. It's got a, a funny storyline, but it, you know it put, they pull it off quite well with storyline. Um, they've got some good slow mo action in it. I mean, overall, it's a film that you can put on, relax, and watch and enjoy. So that's the CD again. So that's. Ninja Assassin. Next is the Superman Returns steelbook. This is a French edition all the way from Canada. 
or should I say Canadian edition this is a slip cover behind it as always most of the Canadian steelbooks always come with a slip cover at the back and nice artwork at the back Okay. So enough of the card because it's not important. And then we've got the steel book. Beautiful artwork up front. Take a look at the spine. Got the Blu-ray symbol, Superman Returns, and you've got the Warner Brothers. And this is the the back. That's excellent. I think this is one of the main reasons why I bought the still book is for the artwork. The film's decent, but it's something that maybe I could live without. Um, as you know, they're coming out with Man of Steel, so that's a film worth watch worth watching, but. The artwork and this back is absolutely great. It's awesome. Uh, as a Superman S symbol. There's a the front. Let's take a look inside. This is a single disc edition. So you just got that one normal Blu ray. got some artwork inside it's okay I uh, would have like to see more Superman inside you know maybe the scene where he's uh, you know catching the plane or doing something or holding the globe up that would have been you know, a great picture to have inside but you know they've got the the Krypton Crystal Island or Something a metropolis in the background. So that's Superman Returns. It's a decent film. It's not one of the greatest films um, in the world. A bit disappointed at some of the twists they put into it. I think Brian Singer, the director, he done this, and was quite disappointed when they done one little bit I want to say but the main reason I've got the still book is for the artwork and it will go well with my Batman collection with the Justice League uh, hopefully they make the Justice League so this will go well with that collection so that's the back and lastly is an awesome film which is American History X. If you haven't watched this film, it's a classic. It's a serious, hardcore film. Um, as you can see, you know, with his Nazi tattoo on his chest, but Edward Norton, brilliant acting in this film. It's, I can't say more about this film, but it's a brilliant film. Uh, this is a slipcover. Just basic information on there. This is from Canada. So let's take the slip cover off. Oof, a bit of glue on there. So you've got the still book. Nice matte finish. I mean, a bit shiny because it's silver. You got the American History this Alliance, uh, American History X, and the back. And that's a cool back, very good.
then let's just open that. There you go, the inside. You have the two disc, this is the two disc edition. You got the Blu ray, and you got the DVD at the back. Take the Blu ray out. There you go. Same as the front. And there you got the back. This is the DVD. And there's the back inside artwork. See the Edward Norton. We've got Edward Norton again with his brother in the film, uh, Edward Furlong. That's excellent artwork there. So we have the American History X still book. Superman Returns. Lovely. And then you have the Ninja Assassin. I'm not even going to bother turning it around because it's the same image. So that's the three steelbooks I've got recently. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please remember to subscribe. Please leave me some comments. Tell me what you think of the films. Um, what do you think of the artwork? And is it some? Is it a film that you would get yourself? I must say, this is a film worth watching. I've been hunting this still book for a while. Um, I saw it on eBay. Uh, some prices were quite high. So I managed to grab one of a decent price. But it's a good film, awesome film, worth watching. So thanks again guys. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments, and I'll see you soon. See you later.